two teams who find themselves fairly evenly matched, not only in terms of the size of their forwards, but their aspirations for the season as well. Halifax always physical in these early stages, especially against two teams who find themselves fairly evenly matched, not only in terms of the size of their forwards, but their aspirations for the season as well. Halifax looking to uh, just make a bit of a break from deep inside their own territory, a chance if they can to get a kick here on what will be the, uh, the fifth tackle just being organised by Ashall, a dummy half, wants to get this pass of this slope haven't we badly with three tackles gone well, just about inside their opponent's territory here's Davis with a battling effort we saw what a consistent performer he was in a few minutes these taster tasters of each other yeah a fast start by both teams uh, both fullbacks catching on the full forwards setting each other out it, it, it looks like you know what the coaches was talking about before the game about them big men in the middle having to win it for their team and you said you played here Clearly, not on the clever kick again, wasn't it? Just banging it into the ground, and anything could happen from there on. So, Batley with uh, very nearly 12 minutes, he was tackled just a couple of yards away from that halfway line. Here comes the uh, the kick downfield, it was only just beyond the halfway line. So, an easy take by Fieldhouse, who turns and sees a good chase. Strong work by the winger Johnny Campbell to make sure he's pinned there. That man Davis as well is a workaholic and his uh, Halifax's version of the back three. Very nearly 12 minutes played, leading by six points to four here, but it has been an eventful opening 12 minutes as they always seem to be in these championship games, don't they? There's always something to talk about as um, it's taken forward by Rowe, who was tackled just a couple of yards away from that halfway line here comes the uh, the kick downfield it was only just beyond the halfway line so an easy take by fieldhouse who turns and sees a good chase strong work by the winger johnny campbell to make sure he's pinned there that man davis as well is a workaholic and his uh, halifax's version of the back three but warrants he trying to add his considerable size and strength to the goal forward effort for Halifax. Little step by Hanford back down the middle, very nearly Portland Cole, but Davis was across there with a very good tackle. It's not always the eye catching stuff that John Davis does, but it's the important stuff, isn't it, down that middle? Two defenders and caught easily enough. Middle again to this left hand side. Here's Davis, wider still. Looking for the gap, looking for the width, great but tackle, Johnny Campbell's well great, covered. Great tackle, great tackle for Warren Sean Campbell. Here's Davis again, trying to make things happen. Byron Smith held up, sturdily in, but sturdily held. Tonks tackles in the bag. Three to go here. Here's Hanforth again, trying to make things happen. On by Manning, Dane Manning, the former Leeds Academy player, not that long ago. The dummy half, it's Hanforth. We'll see him there operating, I'm sure, more and more. House for Halifax and Potts and Greenwood. And Campbell. Yeah, he's going to get there, Dave, don't worry. Campbell. They're just... On that halfway line. Here's Hemingway. Left to Davis. Davis off that left foot. Little step. Just providing the extra question at the last moment, but the defence... These two were involved in two very close games last year. Batley winning here 23-16 and then uh, going to Halifax and Halifax winning that 26-20. So never more than seven points between them. Shifted them, they've been aware, they've got in front of them and they've had to kick. I think it was Tyra that kicked here or Heaton that kicked down here on the right hand side and only made a few metres. Davis held up just short of the 20 metre mark as Batley looked to attack. Menel at dummy last year wasn't he came back in the I think it was Halifax's last game of the year wasn't it when they lost to Sheffield but it was yeah. impressive that night in the losing team they got flogged that night and he was a standout yeah and standing down that left channel so we know his capabilities and we know that there's plenty of pedigree well he's put his foot on the line but they've decided that that was after the tackle had been completed it would have been tough either way really well, he should be allowed to get up and play the ball because 
The ball's dead when the tackle's complete. If he can put his foot in touch as long as he gets up and plays the ball. Now he gets it. Delivers it wide right. Manning gets it on again. Physical stuff at the moment. Ashall. Wide right. Manning gets it on again. Physical stuff at the moment. Ashall. Drop back on the inside, looking for the uh, the burst of Robinson. Who's lost it, and the referee says lost cold. No hand in there, so the uh, the head and feet at the scrum goes Batley's way here. Briefing forward here, Halifax. 15 minutes of the half remaining. Barlow throws it out. Oh, well read in defence. Davis dropped under pressure. Terrific read by Davis, and Hanford trying to get away from him loses the ball. Yeah, it was that element of pressure from Davis on Hanforth. I think he had a look up and bear in mind he's trying to beat him with the ball, step inside him because you see him his eye line and then oh, I was supposed to get up and play that, not drop it. And we talk about the sparklers, don't we? We we uh, love to salivate about those players who do some fantastic things with ball in hand. But I tell you, John Davis is worth his weight in gold with moments like that, isn't he? Just as important as the razzle dazzlers. Eventually they get on with it. Oh, They're making oh, hard yards here. It is all about staying in the game in the first half, isn't it? Up the hill for the side that has to do this um, this hard work up the hill. And Halifax uh, very much staying in it. Six points apiece. So here comes the the final tackle, the kick from Hanforth. It's over 11 minutes of this first half remaining. It's been tight as we'd expect, and Robinson proving that it's been physical as well, lifted up and bundled down, but it was a legal tackle the referee decides. So here comes Ashall, waiting and acting half again. This now is the last. Here's Davis with that initial drive, puts his left shoulder in, but he's well dealt with by that Halifax defence. Good tackle by Manning. And collected. Plenty of purple jumpers in his face. Move. Big oh. set here for Batley. They want to keep, keep Halifax as, as deep as they can here, won't they? The 20, and then two players, one the winger, one the fullback, Greenwood, and they're over the halfway. Here's Davis showing it, so he's going to pass, and then decides to keep it on, and then does get it away well. And Hurst gets it on again. This is good hands here as Flanagan carries it forward, another strider two. Good, tight, close handling. Yeah, and as a result of that, they get a penalty. It was a penalty as well. Tough period here for Halifax. You know, tough period. Or a dummy half to spin it back to the middle. This is Black. Dummies to Fleming. Dummies to Hurst. Then tries to take them on. And again, it was uh, Walton and Barlow, rather, who was there to stop him in his tracks. So Flanagan now to this left-hand side. This is Davis. Cuts back. Okay. Trying to go on the inside of that defence. We've seen that so often off the left foot. Flanagan twists away. That was the fifth. Here comes the last in this set. Hemingway picks up from Dummy. Close they are. Back it. Oh, it's not the best of passes, but it's picked up by Morel. Two defenders quickly there. I think it was aimed for Hanford, wasn't it? Could but it be. never reached where it needed to be. So Halifax not back a strider two. Here comes Hanforth with a kick to the corner. The bottle bobble and the, the jostling, and it's back collected by again. Halifax. Another set. So they're going to finish the half on the attack, and a penalty given Badley's way. Surely it is they who are going to go down fighting at the end of this first half. Here's Davis trying to spin away and has spun away. Back down the middle again. How many times does he start on the left and finish a run? Some distance downfield, down the centre of play. He's been very impressive, hasn't he? Oh. Like very strong. Here's Drop a free by play. Pack, here free comes play. the kick. It is the free play, the advantage rule, of course. And it's still a free play. It's Sharif who's chasing him. Batley desperately getting back and Potts just... Halifax half, and here comes Davis with that first drive. Solidly forward again. Oh, Dealt with by two and put on his backside. So up he gets to try and play this quickly. Flanagan now. Good turn and a good offload. It uh, took a bit of a bounce, but it's 
I think the defence has got another tackle to make here. Not too much ground to make, but another tackle for the defence. 40 as they keep it alive here. Hanforth again scurrying across. Battle defenders had him sized up. Make sure the tackle was a good one. And here comes the last now. Well, the old duck. And eventually the kick away by Anthony Thackeray. And has he put too much on it? He has. It bounces out of play for Tappy. Many goal in this half. You'll stick with the processes. You've got one. Still a half an hour to go. As Davis again it's spinning it forward. Oh, he's tried to offload it. He's just about got away with it. So picked up by Fleming off the floor. So that's not a bad recovery, is it? But he's okay. So all that early fear is uh, wiped away. There's a big kick and a big tester, but it's taken well enough by Fieldhouse, who has a look up, sees there's a bit of space to run into, runs into the shoulder of John Davis. Crunch. Down he goes. He won't be doing that again for a while. Halifax trying to battle it away. And they're finding it hard. Look who's right in the middle of the defending again. Davis wants more, so they shift it left, or at least threaten to shift it left. Can't get through. Battley, Battley goes the cry. There's the big hit. I think it was Fleming, actually, who made the initial... And Halifax sizing up the operation here. Morell throws it wide right. Thackeray, a little bit of a slip, made that tackle easier. So they've not made too much ground here. Still a couple of tackles left in this set to try and impose themselves inside the Batley half, but failing to do so. The defence is good, so he's going to take a good kick here. Good. So here comes the last in this set. What do they do? Davis. He will put the kick on, John Davis. He's got a kicking game as well, it seems. Not a bad take by Fieldhouse in the in-goal area. A chance to... Clattering in. Once again, Batley's defenders hanging on. Time to play it. So this time it's an Ambler who comes running on. A little step by him as well, almost taking him through, almost ripping through that Batley defence. That was five, here comes six. Hanforth spins it out wide, Thackeray puts it high. Steepler again. Full backs underneath this and has swallowed it up nicely enough. Adamers. As Cookie quite rightly pointed out, Scott Morell was in bits on the fringe. He's gone, I think he's gone off the back of the field, they've got somebody on, so opportunity missed there for Batley. His Ball in the arm, underneath the shoulder, tries to uh, take it on. That was five. Here comes a sixth, looking for a kick out of dummy half, just about got it away, there was some pressure. And then get a good attacking kick in. Davis with good hands. They might have other ideas though to try and open them up down the middle. Greenwood gone down with ball in hand. Very solid set here to get themselves downfield and take a bit of heat out of the game. And that's a good little driving effort that has given them some purchase. Well, it's a good set here, isn't it? Good first three play. There's one criticism you have of the Battle team, is, or one credit, if you like, to the Halifax team, is they've defended their own line really, really well there, when they've had to, and that's kept them in the game. They've been saying all year, we're, we're, we're not this and we're not that, but we're still winning, and it's a habit, isn't it? Well, it could be five out of five if they win here tonight. It will be five out of five if they win here tonight, and it's looking that way at the moment. And I tell you what, this is where the bonus point really comes in, doesn't it? Because Batley now... Um, might not be in a position to win it, will be desperately anxious to make sure that gap doesn't go beyond 12. What a big... ...play the ball, he speeds it up as quick as he can, Hemingway to that left-hand side, here comes Davis, hits it in, and Halifax there waiting, but a good offload, and Hemingway did well to read that, got in position to make sure he got the catch, but all they do is draw another tackler, and that was the fifth, here comes the last. What are they going to do here? Just looking for distance, they've still got time to put pressure on Halifax here, but that ball needed to hold up, it doesn't, it's a tap back on the 20. I'm sure that's the smartest kick with four minutes to go, and maybe you try and kick the ball with a view to getting it back. Well, they have to re-tap here, they're not going to be too bothered about having to waste a few more seconds here, Halifax. Ashall eventually takes that tap, and here comes Ricky Sharif. Four minutes to go, it is still in Halifax's favour, but a little tighter than it was a couple of minutes ago. Halifax just happy to keep hold of possession if they can now. Wanting to eat up the seconds and eat up the yards, get themselves downfield 
as far as they can. Strong carry there by Ambler. It's a great carry. It's a big game tonight, isn't it, Ambler? Going to have to be thinking about man of the match shortly as well, Brian Noble. So uh, put your thinking cap on. Halifax working hard here to make. Johnny Campbell, Alex Breverton, Aidan Farr, the former Dewsbury centre, and Greg Johnson, the three quarters. Tom Hemingway here at the Golden Boot, and Gareth Moore are the halfbacks tonight. And the forwards, the front row are Byron Smith, Paul Nennell, Josh Johnson, a youngster who's on dual reg from Huddersfield, John Davis, Liam Wormsley, the, young, the older brother, I should say, of Alex, and Mark Applegarth binds them all together at loose forward. And on the bench for the Batley Bulldogs here tonight, it will be Keegan Hurst, Alex Rowe, Jay Leary, and um, Danny Morn and John Keir is the coach. Wind in the background, blowing away. It's um, threatening to blow us off the gantry here tonight, which might not be a bad thing, but it's um, hopefully not going to impede too much with the way this match is played. Davis now will carry it forward. John Davis, the former Casabad man, carries it forward, and he's going to be tattled about um, a stride or two short of that uh, 40 metre mark. And here's Josh Johnson. Is blowing hard. Price is a man who was tattled. It's um, a chance for Hunslet to get their hands on the ball for a meaningful, a meaningful spell of pressure here. If they can get inside, that pretty really, gritty start, hasn't it, from both teams? Both teams really getting their bodies in there, getting numbers in the tackle. And by the way, we've got a record attempt here tonight, which we're looking forward to. If it takes place, it's a, an attempt at breaking the world record for the most paper hats worn in a public place at one time. We'll have to wait and see. Not seen many paper hats so far, to be fair, but it's going to take place at half time. We're told. We uh, we shall see. We shall. I'm looking forward Are you to that. You're going to wear one. You're going to wear one. I might wear one for warmth, actually. Here comes Richard Moore. Hunslet. Well, it's not been a bad start for the home side, has it? Who um, are a distance behind Batley in the league, but as we saw last week, not a league game, of course, but Northern Rail, Dewsbury, doing a job on Halifax. So it is possible for those in the bottom half of the league to just catch the top five teams cold when the mood Washington, uh, Swinton against Doncaster, Lee against Whitehaven and uh, possibly arguably the tie of the round Sheffield against Dewsbury but um, I think the other teams will uh, argue about that but we will have one of those teams exclusively on the 13th of June, Thursday the 13th of June the quarterfinal and the other three games will be played over that the other team's line thus far. It has been. I'm not sure. Good tackle. Oh, gritty. Good tackle there, Dave. Davis underneath and Smith over the top. Put away. Right it goes. It's um, Luke Halliwell who just drops it back on the inside. Eight yards away from that Batley line when he picks himself up and Richard Moore stoutly carrying it in and keeping that right arm free again. But they're grappling around him, making sure he can't get it away. Not till he goes down does that become a certainty. Here's Hood. Little ball back on the inside for Michael Haley. That was a fifth. So here comes the last. Liam Hood again. Little uh, kick over the top by Thomas Coyle. It's in their goal line in their own line, you know, Admiral. So Hendo, give us give us one of the trade secrets. You're a club who doesn't um, indulge in the dual registration quite like others. So is there is there a bit of a come on? We'll show these boys that we're a team when you're up against a team who do have plenty of. Dual the rules are in place and clubs have chosen to to go down that route. Then so be it. And, and good luck to them. But you know, so we're going to stick as we are. Here's Price, just over the halfway line. Hunslet again finding themselves back inside their opponent's half as they have been for a lot of times towards the end of their sixes. Little push by Watson. Ruth, then so be it, and good luck to them, but you know, so we're going to stick as we are. Here's Price, just over the halfway line. Hunt and about half time before a decision is made whether we'll, he'll feature again. It's just what you want on a night like this, isn't it? A big pack of ice strapped to you. Nice. Middle back to the middle, here's Hemingway, now Davis. We've admired his work, haven't we, this season? John Davis, as he takes it to within 10 metres. Here comes the sixth. 
It's a bit like your ground, isn't it? Or at least the, the Don Valley Stadium where you play with a running track around the edge. It must be difficult for the players because it, it just lacks a bit of an atmosphere at times, doesn't it? No, I agree with you, Dave. You know, unfortunately for us, we've got some Eagles fans that have the, the drum beating and stuff like that, so you can hear that, you know. But, uh, yeah, no, it, I think... Well, that, I suppose when you're a little bit withdrawn away, you, you don't always sort of get that same sort of feeling when you're on top of it. Yes, Richard Moore who drives it in. Up on his feet. Back it goes for the... Uh, the ...correctly, but it, um, it was an eye-catching on the left. Oh, and Moore's taken a bit of a tumble, which makes him an easier target for those uh, Batley defenders. Well, yeah. Price Hunslet come back here and post a 12-point difference. Very well. Well, where did that come from? About 10 metres from his own line, and where Absolutely. did they start? 20, 30 metres out from their opponent's line. So what a leg up that's given them. Absolutely. Another great opportunity now for the Hawks, Dave. Move, John! Wait! Just another indication Move, of how strong this wind is and exactly who it's in favour of in this first half. Here's a, a oh, kick downfield. Richard Moore was leading the chase. Now, is this it's a good kick, but it's taken well enough by Jimmy Watson. Great positioning there from Watson too there to, to, to get there and get that on the full. Good shot from Davis. <laughs> he's in a bit of a queue, isn't he? Jimmy Watson, as far as Leeds fullbacks are concerned, he's um, going to be have to be something special to break past Zach Hardacre in that uh, Leeds lineup. This is Price. All the way from that left wing to get involved. Here now comes Andy Yates again. Did play one game at St. Helens about four or five years ago, but just the one game. Coyle, inside ball. Watson was there, but so were two defenders to make sure he was going nowhere. Sandwich between them. Here comes the final. That's why he's given it. But if it if it goes right over the top, then it's no goal. Okay, but that was that. So that didn't go over the top in the referee's opinion. That's um, it's very clear. That's the rule. So 12-6, Batley lead, and here. Very nearly half an hour played. What the point I was going to make before that was, um, you know, Hunslet just need a lift, don't they? Maybe that will give them the lift because they perhaps don't deserve to be trailing 12 points to six, or at least they've given a lot to this game, haven't they? Certainly early on they have. I was disappointed that they are behind, but the battle are worth it, lead. Well, Yates lost it, but it was um, allowed to play on. Can you hear the wind? We, we can feel the feel wind. Feel it, yeah. It's talking to the listeners back home. Crazy. Tell you where he's coming from. That big pole up there in the north. <laughs> it is a cold, chilly night in South Leeds. Ball and have the extra energy. Remember, they're running back to their own end into that wind, so that'll be taking a bit of juice out of them. I think they've played the wind really well, Batley. Hunslet caused Batley some problems when they met earlier in the season, back um, at the back end of March. Hunslet were actually leading at the Love Rugby League.com stadium by 12 points to nil at one stage. And Batley ran out 28-12 winners, so... Batley knew they were going to be in for a bit of a battle here tonight. Good carry that by Yates there, Dave. Little dummy shown, but uh, not taken. So Luke Hay is the man who's up at dummy half again. Oh, and... Oh! Oh, well. Sit down! They're in, they're in the not golden point, but they're in the uh, bonus point. Yes, they range are. Now, aren't they? Twelve points. Wayne Price. Well, they're, they're looking for a bit of magic here, aren't they? The uh, the Hunslet side, just trying to find a way through. One try really would reintroduce some uh, vim and vigour to this game because eight points in it, two scores the difference. That's all. Here comes Michael Haley. Back on the prop. Another ex Leeds junior. This is Richard. They're in good field position, but well cleaned up from battle. Here's Davis, John Davis. They're still in this game, honestly. Oh, plenty. Absolutely. So here comes the last. Hemingway hoists it high. Where's this going to come down? It's um, taken safely enough by Lee Maples. And Hunslet have it back again. That'll be Very familiar pattern here, with the ball in their hands and some brave work being done by the, the forwards, but the wrong end of the field as far as they're concerned. Here's Moore. Richard Moore coming in. 
again a very familiar pattern here with the ball in their hands and some brave work being done by the the forwards but the wrong end of the field as far as they're concerned here's Moore Richard Moore coming in he has been caught with the ball in his hands Dummy half goes Maples he's at a crack tonight hasn't he so the tap and a chance for Richard Moore to have first dibs at taking on that Batley line. In and down. Hood at dummy half. Left it goes. We've seen some... ...to go and only eight points the difference. This is Coyle now. Up to the line and takes them on. A little dummy at the last, but not taken by those three defenders who meet him mightily. So they'll have to... ...Honslip, 20 for Batley. How long to go? Seven minutes to go? Six and a bit minutes to go, even oh. less than that. And Hunslet have only had one period of possession inside their opponent. Spinning forward. So they'll be happy, Will Batley here, to keep this ball. This end of the field again. Here's Davis. That's three. Probably been slightly the kicking game and the right time, you know, Batley kicking at the right times in the right field position and, and possibly just been a little bit more clinical at times. Look I think. at this from Helliwell. They're going to get it back again here. No, they're not. Davis has caught it, dropped it, went backwards. The referee says play on. Davis sees a bit of a channel in which to run. Davis has a chance to finish it here. Oh. It's going to be pulled down, but only eight yards short. They took the gamble, Hunslet. It almost came off, but now they face an uphill battle to keep Batley away from their scoreline. Two tackles. Here comes Helliwell. He's going to be tackled. Left they go once again. Little ball. Left they go once again. Little ball back on the inside, but um, not not given away. Little scurry. That's good, he's nice through. Here comes Helliwell. He's going to be tackled. Left they go once again. Little ball back on the inside, but um, not, not given away. Little scurry from acting half. I think that was um, Hood. He's managed to take it up towards and beyond the halfway line. So here they come. This is the... Was, um, a lot of other jobs here tonight. Here comes Davis from dummy half. And Rowe drives it forward again, up to the halfway line. Quick play the ball as well. Smart play the ball. Davis was there in acting half. White it goes. Suddenly there's an opportunity. Uh, Potts is trying to get on the outside of this and kick and field. Look how quick Potts is going here. But a cross comes oh! to Watson. He's lost it. And Potts will score and finish the game. And Potts will score and finish the game. End for Hunslet. They're trying to push the hardest. Davis gets away, finds the offload. Bretherton, who's had a big influence on some of the outcomes of scores tonight, he just does two plays. Potts gets there and grounds it in the field of play. Great kick from Alex Bretherton. Straight down. Can't clean up Jimmy Watson. He's had a fab game himself. And so Bradley just need to keep hold of possession now, and they won't get through all six tackles. Here's Rowe, he drives it forward again. And this next play will be, all things being equal, the last play of the game. The Hooter sounds as Davis runs it out. He will play that to that right-hand side. The ball's been knocked on. Picked up by Brotherton, but that will be.